Yeah. I wish he fought John Jones. Yeah. The, but I'm interested in John Jones versus Stipe. Yeah. I'm very, especially if Stipe's healthy. I'm very interested in that. Can I, I in no way wish to dis, be disrespectful, but it, I, just a layman perspective, mm -hmm. a lot of people I have heard saying Stipe is too old now. We don't know. We have, he hasn't fought since he got knocked out by Francis, and Francis looked unbelievable in that fight. He was patient and calculated, and his power is just so extraordinary that if he could just catches you a couple of times, he, Francis hits so hard. And so him knocking out Stipe was not as much as like Stipe doesn't have it anymore, it was that Francis is that good, that big, that scary, a natural 265-pound knockout machine. Yeah, but John Jones, man, come on. Yeah, John Jones is the, the highest fight I Q of all time next to Mighty Mouse like he's he finds a way to win you know and he's an unbelievable grappler that's why that would be such a good fight his mm. super high fight IQ use of distance better than anybody and then this ability to know how to win and c can he win versus that guy because if you get clipped once mm. just once what he did to Cain Velasquez just inside caught him with an uppercut you see Cain's just mm. lights go out like Cain can take a shot man that guy's his power is different. It's just extraordinary. But you, you, I think you hit the nail on the head. He knows how to win. And you see mm -hmm. it with all great athletes yep. they, and teams. The, even if they're not doing well, even if they're not fighting well, if they're not playing well, they have that extra gear that they can go into. And then suddenly you go, how did, how did he do that? Mm -hmm. How did they do that? Yeah, they were on the ropes. Makes people different. And, make, I mean, and it probably drives you crazy. You know, they say Michael Jordan was out of his fucking mind when he was at his best. It's, it's of course. It's just. But you know, Jones has looked. You know, no, I wouldn't say beatable, but there are a couple of guys that pushed him. Two yeah, or it's, three. It's mostly Reyes. he was playing with his food. It's mostly John was bored. He was so dominant that he would not train. You know, when he fought Alexander Gustafsson, they said he barely trained at all, and still beat him in the stretch. And then the rematch wanted to prove a point, so yeah. trained really hard. And beat the shit out of Gustafson. You know, with John, it's a lot of it is he's so much better than everybody else. Like when he's really threatened, like with Cormier, then you see how good he really is. Mm. Like when he knocked out Cormier with that head kick, and that's when you see how good he is when he's when he's pushed. Yeah. When you see John Jones with a real challenge in front of him, and hopefully that's the John Jones we'll see with Stipe. Yeah.